I'm Stephen and we're flying the nest and for the last three years we've been traveling around the world filming our adventures daily so if you are new around here make sure you hit subscribe now one of our most popular questions we get asked is where in the world should I volunteer we absolutely love to volunteer and give our time to those in need I don't like to toot my horn much but this is one thing I'm so passionate about we've been to well over 55 projects around the world so I feel like we know which is the best places to visit and which are the best volunteer projects to go to. So we've chosen our top 10 favorite volunteer projects that we volunteered at and we're going to be sharing those with you today. Number 10, volunteering with manatees in Belize. Now this little project is located in Cape Corca which is a tiny island in the Caribbean. So this project focuses on the research and conservation of the West Indian manatee, which are highly endangered. Now this is perfect for those who want to be a marine biologist or have a very key interest in research because one of the reasons we love this project is how primitive the setup is. You live on the North Island underneath the house of the local ranger. So he lives there, we live underneath. Put a toilet in, so actually have a toilet and then you just use seawater. So this is the beautiful shower. This is kind of like a camping camp shower. It's no electricity, it is very basic. So you do have to have a passion to go out there. However, seeing manatees and even baby manatees more than makes up for the basic accommodation. So we were mainly researching where the feeding and breeding patterns were for the manatees, which means that they can then tell the rangers and stop the tourist boats coming to the areas where there are manatees feeding so they can be left alone. There is some fun in this project don't you worry on the weekends you can head to the main island and you can live it up party do karaoke and you also need to try the local fry jack which is just a heart attack in a taco. So it's like batter and what they do is they put it in like oil and fry it up and then they stuff it with beans and eggs. Mm -mm. So number nine is our first English teaching project. This one is in Cambodia and it was so unique that it had to make our list. The reason why is because the school is built and run by the volunteers. So it's located in Samrong and there are over 200 students from six local villages that all come for free education. Now the levels aren't like our levels at school where it's based on age. It's actually based on how well they can speak English. So you can have a nine-year-old in level one, a 13-year-old in level one, and they only go up levels once they've improved their English. So this has got to be one of the most beautiful volunteer schools we have ever been to. It has that outdoor vibe. There's no front door to the classrooms or anything like that. I think some cows walking past because it's yeah. in the local area where the farmers are working. And uh, the way you get to the school is on this, I don't know. It's like a tractor-like vehicle. Yeah. That's what I was referring to it as. Still can't get over that this is the mode of transportation. <laughs> Do you want to know what my name is? Yes. Guess. Guess. <laughs> no, no. My name is Stephen. Stephen. Number eight, sea turtle conservation in Costa Rica. Now this one is located on the Pacific or the Caribbean side, depending on the time of year and the demand that they need. But your main goal here is to protect the sea turtles. Now out of a thousand baby sea turtles, only one hits adulthood, which, which really, insane. it really sucks. So they definitely need your help here. Because the main reason is poaching. So a lot of these eggs aren't even getting to the ocean. They're being stolen and sold. So that's really the main goal of the project is to make sure these sea turtles can get to the ocean. But then of course nature can take care of the rest. At least we're getting more sea turtles into the ocean to protect potentially get to adulthood. So the main thing that you do here is you're actually collecting eggs, putting them inside a hatchery, and then once they hatch, we're releasing them back into the wild. One day we released 650 sea turtles is absolutely incredible. One of the best experiences we've ever done. So your main jobs at the project are night patrolling, working on the hatcheries, beach cleanups, collecting eggs, and releasing turtles into the sea. Guys, but we do need to warn you, this is a tough job. You are doing patrols, not just in the day, but also at night. But if you're lucky like us, it was quite worth it because one of the nights, a sea turtle we watched came out of the ocean, dug her nest, laid her eggs, closed it back over, and then went back into the ocean. It was amazing. Building a nest and it's about to lay eggs. Oh my god, and right in front of our hatchery. 
So coming in at number seven, and this is a recent project. So to make our top 10 list, it has to be special. This is the Rescue Animal Center in the Amazon jungle. Now this is in the Ecuador side. So it's home to an array of different Ecuadorian animals that have either been abused, injured, or neglected. So the type of animals that you can find at the Rescue Center range from monkeys to birds to even sloths. But one of the most unique animals we came across was the jungle dog. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, it's sweet. <laughs> So you actually live at the shelter in these cute little wooden bungalows and your job is to feed, clean and care for the animals and if you're lucky you'll get to see some animals being released. Another unique thing about this project is they have monkey islands. So there's monkeys living on the island and people can't get over there unless they put down like a handmade bridge. Yeah, and then you have to walk across through the bridge onto the island to then feed and look after the monkeys. Quite a unique little experience we did. Can I come on your island? Oh yeah, I did it. <laughs> So number six is teach English at a Buddhist monastery in Myanmar. Now this is one of the most unique teaching projects that we've ever been to because you actually live at the monastery with all of the monks. So there are over a thousand monks and novices living at the school and they're all so keen to learn English. On top of that, Myanmar is one of the most incredible countries in Southeast Asia. There are so many things to see and do in Myanmar that picking it as your country to teach English abroad is a good decision because it is such an incredible country. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so now we've made it to the top five volunteer project. Now these five, if anyone, friends, family members, or even you guys want to go volunteer, we just send them this top five list yeah. because no matter which of these projects you go to, you're gonna have an absolutely incredible time. So coming in at number five is volunteer at a Costa Rica animal rescue center. Now this was our first volunteer project we ever did. It was three years ago and it pretty much opened our eyes to the volunteering world and made us fall in love with it. And I think the main reason we loved it is because they they have some amazing animals there, but they have a huge focus on sloths. And we, we love, love sloths. <laughs> <laughs> so this project is located in the Punta Renas province of Costa Rica, and your main goal is to look after sick and injured animals. Guys, I also got to babysit a baby blind sloth. So I'm babysitting baby Hoshin, and I'm just here relaxing in a hammock. So they also have the cutest little monkeys there called marmosets, and the reason they're there is that they were actually kept as pets, but they're not from Costa Rica. So once the owner didn't want them anymore, the shelter said, okay, we'll look after them, but they can't be released back into the wild because they're not from this country. But they loved Steven. <laughs> they were like jumping all over him, pulling at him, checking out his camera. I was trying to like <laughs> clean their enclosure, and they they were just being so cheeky, I couldn't get my work done. Ron wants to say hello to you! Oh, he's <laughs> Hello! What are you doing? Number four, volunteer at a wild animal sanctuary in Australia. Now, since we started volunteering, we always wanted to volunteer in our home country, Australia, and we found this amazing wildlife sanctuary about an hour north from Sydney. And there they have all the Australian animals, like kangaroos, koalas, emus, wallabies, dingoes, wombats, wombats which are echidnas. Yeah. It's such a cool place. So if you are Australian and you're looking for a place to volunteer, honestly, just check this place out. And also, if you want to come to Australia and see all our local animals, you can get up close and personal with these animals as you look after them. On our last day, it was so sad. So a mm. mother koala was hit by a car and the baby was still hanging on to the mum. So they actually brought it into the sanctuary and it was adorable. It's really important that we look after our Australian animals because we've already had 30 native mammals become extinct since no. European settlement only 130 years ago. I've never been this close to a koala before. Yay! So our name is Kimbala. It's oh, good morning. So coming in at number three is volunteer with the giant pandas in China. Now this place is super special for us for multiple reasons. For those who are unsure whether volunteering makes a difference, this project in China proves it. This place in China took giant pandas from the endangered to the vulnerable list with help of volunteers and locals in China. So if we haven't sold you already, you volunteer with pandas, like the cutest animals in the world and there's so many jobs to do while you're there. So your main jobs though are to clean enclosures and feed. Pandas eat a lot. It's also located in a beautiful area. I think it's called Bethan Giza. We'll put the words here because I have no idea how to say so that word. Wrong, it's so wrong. That's it anyway. there. <laughs> but during our time off, we hiked waterfalls, hiked to temples, and then they also want to really involve culture into the volunteer project. So we also made dumplings, we did calligraphy classes. It was one of the first volunteer projects we did where they tried to teach you a bit more of the culture as well as volunteer. You want it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alrighty, coming in at number two is the Wildlife Sanctuary in South Africa. Now this is a safe haven for injured and neglected animals, so there's quite a few stories at this project. The first one is they have a three-legged cheetah, of course that can't survive in the wild. Also there was a TV show that they filmed in South Africa where they had two tigers. Once the show was done, they were just going to... I don't know, get rid of the tigers, so the sanctuary took them on as well. Also in South Africa, there's an issue when there are too many elephants in Kruger National Park, so they go and cull them. So they shot the moms and there were some baby elephants that just scattered. They didn't know what to do, so the park took them on, so at least they have somewhere to live the rest of their life. So while you're there, you get to feed in clean enclosures with lions, cheetahs, hyenas. Tigers, oh my! <laughs> <laughs> they have a bunch of African animals, but one of the things I love is they also have this, I don't know how big it was, but it's this massive area with wild, free-roaming giraffe, alpaca, zebras, they had a hippopotamus, so at night time you weren't allowed to walk around because there's actual hippos. Not in an enclosure, they can just walk around. Fun fact, hippos are the most dangerous animals in Africa, but don't worry, the team there will look after you. Yeah. <laughs> if you're showing this video to your mum to convince her, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Also, another part of the project is the social activities. So you can go out and learn about the local tribes in Africa. Also at night, there is a bit of a bar at the top and uh, very cheap beer. I think we paid a dollar for some ciders and yeah. sitting there watching the sun set it's like a Lion King moment. You're just like, what am I doing here? It was absolutely incredible. <laughs> Alrighty, so coming in at number one is marine and turtle conservation in the Maldives. Now, I know, I know, we already have sea turtles on this list, but trust us, this is our favourite project we've ever done and there is a reason for it. Not only do you get to volunteer in the Maldives, which is probably one of the most beautiful places that we've ever been to, but this place, you can really see the impact and difference they have made to the sea turtles. Now, this is a little bit different. You're not dealing with just baby sea turtles. So here is a place where if they find any injured turtles, like they have a lot where they have missing flippers from being caught in nets, or a lot of the locals will find babies and they don't think and they put them into fresh water. Don't live in fresh water. They live in salt water. So what they do here is they actually rehabilitate the turtles and they want to try and make sure that every turtle that comes through gets released back into the wild. And I think the really cool bit is that there are multiple stages at this project. So stage one is rehabilitating the sea turtles, going from fresh water to sea water. And then the second stage, which I think is one of the best stages, is actually stage two. So they put a enclosure in the ocean and once they feel like the sea turtles are almost ready to be released back into the wild, they go into stage two, which is this water enclosure. There they can swim, they can fend for themselves. We send some live fish in there so they can try hunt again. And also they're getting used to the current again because think they've been in tanks. Yeah. So then after that stage two, they just go back into the wild. So while you're there, you're not just volunteering. There are a lot of really awesome activities. So you, of course, can go snorkeling. We go on like little day trips out to beautiful pristine islands where no one lives. We even found a gigantic whale shark bone just washed up on the shore. I mean, you can just live that Maldives life if that's what you're after. <laughs> one day we went fishing and then brought them back to where we stayed. And in the Maldives, if they're having a barbecue, they actually heat up coconut shells. So we cooked the fish on top of the coconuts and it was it was delicious. Literally like, what's it, what do they call like farm to table? Like, yeah. Yeah. We caught it, and, and then we the cooked feet. it, and then we ate it. They're so cute. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is our top 10 list of our favorite volunteer projects. Honestly, you can go to any of these and you'll have an incredible time. We've been wanting to do this video for so long because you guys have been asking, where should I volunteer? Of course, if you have any other questions, let us know below. We tend to volunteer through an organization through Go Eco. This isn't sponsored, we just love working with them. They've taken us all around. And if you do decide to volunteer with them, they're a great company. Also, I'll leave a link of every single volunteer project we just mentioned, so you can check them out for yourself. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up and share this video with someone who is thinking about volunteering. And of course, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time. Bye. A little